Howdy folks, welcome to episode 30. Today we are going to continue working on the power systems and so I wanted to show you that I hooked up this line over here that's coming out of there into this capacitor and then also through here. So power can be transferred through here into the capacitor and then if it needs to be over here. And as you see I moved these combustion generators over from there. I'm going to tear out that wall and move everything over here. And so let me put this back real quick. And we'll go downstairs <clears throat> so we can see how well the miner has been doing. So we'll go down to the mine. And I, hey, I hit the right mouse button that time. The correct mouse button. <laughs> and there we go. So we've got a ton of stuff. And the thing is right now our bottleneck with our power production is redstone because we have the farm producing tons and tons of gunpowder and the that's the mob farm is producing the gunpowder and the other farm our farm farm upstairs is producing tons of the other stuff the sugar and the seeds so the big bottleneck on that is going to be redstone and so i need to grab some of the iron out of here because i need that to do some crafting and i'll grab this gold too because we're getting low on that but yeah, we need a way to get redstone. And so another thing that we can do is if you look at here, there is a there is a thing called a culinary generator. And this thing will produce RF from all kinds of foods, including the, the rotten flesh is the word I'm looking for. And so if you look here, whoops. We have almost 5,000 rotten flesh. So yeah, and we get tons of that from both the regular farm and that's outside and also the pigman farm produces a bunch of that too. So that should be pretty much an endless supply of, <laughs> of energy source. So I wanna make some of the culinary generators. Now, the thing is that you need, you need these only put out a little bit and then you can combine eight of them with some dragon's breath into an eight uh, that puts out, I think, 256 RF per tick. So that's going to be the goal is I want to make some of these. And in order to do that, I need to get some of these parts. I'm like so long on iron and everything. So I have to go take this iron and run it through the, <laughs> the grinder and all that stuff. And so I'm going to get all of these done and get stuff crafting or ready to craft. And so I will meet you guys back here in a little bit when it's ready. Okay, guys, we are back and I've got all this stuff made up. And so let's get the culinary generator. And so we should be able to make eight of these now. And we should be able to keep making them. And we can only make one at a time because of the, these things don't stack. So we have to make them one at a time. Such a pain, right? <laughs> it sure beats having to lay them out all individually. And see, is that eight? And then we should be able to Lay that one out there. And now we have a culinary generator. So let's grab some of the rotten flesh, get some of that coming out. And we'll go over here and we can replace, we can place this on the power grid here. So we'll move this and I should make sure that I'm not, yeah, okay. <laughs> that I've got red spots. And oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're back, and apparently, I because I tried to upgrade, update the the mod pack or the mod that was using some of this stuff, and so it apparently didn't like that. And so anyway, we'll hook this up, and so this should be, yeah. See, this is 256 RF per tick. Now this thing can use all kinds of stuff. It can run potatoes too, and because I got a ton of potatoes and wheat i can make bread you can run bread through it and all kinds of stuff so yeah we've got a ton of hay 
and let's see if it's going to pull more of this out. And so we'll show you here, put this in here, and there we go. And so it's going to run 256 RF per tick. And it's not even storing any, I guess it's, it's getting sucked into the system, which is cool. But yeah, so what I want to do is I want to see if maybe, yeah, I don't think there's any way to, I think I'll have to use a hopper or whatever or some item pipes in order to, let's see, conduit. Let's, let's get conduit here, get some item conduit. There we go. And we'll hook this up to here. So we'll see if we can, actually we can just break this thing. No, I wanna put it behind. I don't want it to be up above, that'll be ugly. So we'll do this, we'll put this here and here and we're going to adjust that one if we can can we get to it no okay so i need to break back here so i can see it there we go okay and so on this we can put it to insert and this one we can put extract and active all the time and so now we can put rotten flesh in here there we go so that'll keep filling up this chest or the generator from the chest and so we can grab a whole ton of this stuff and start burning it off and creating RF out of it and getting that turned into is this running out we ran out of sugar okay but yeah we can get this run turning into turning all the rotten flesh into RF and so the other thing I wanted to do is what we have is a dimensional transceiver. Now this, if you're familiar with the Tesseract, this is the new version of the Tesseract, but you can teleport items, fluids, and power wirelessly from anywhere to anywhere else. So basically you put one of these on each end of the connection and you don't need the pipes anymore. And so I need an octatic capacitor, which I need to steal that from the sag mill but what i need is i need a couple of enderman souls so we'll we will run off to the end real quick and we'll go get some enderman souls we'll get a couple of those there we go and yeah my transporter here i totally forgot that it like completely rewrites these blocks every time when you come in. So yeah, the frame that I put there got deleted. <laughs> so that wasn't nice. And let's see if we can get this guy and this guy. That will do. This will do nicely. And here we go. And we're back home. Okay, so we should be able to craft this one of these with most of the parts. So what we need is we need the ender crystal and we need the ender resonator. So we need solarium, enderman head, vibrant alloy, and that. And what was the other vibrant crystal? And then that is going to go in. So we have all of those. Yeah, that's gonna go into the slice and splice. So we'll go over here to the slice and splice and we'll put this in here and what the other thing we need there is the and and the vibrant alloy that <laughs> that too so we'll get that running and then we can do the same thing again and I believe it's like this and like this and this is what we needed those enderman heads for that's what that whole enderman farm was about is being able to make these ender resonators which is awesome and then we're going to need the soul binder we're going to need to put these in here and i need to get 10 levels so we'll grab that real quick and we'll store all and grab 10 levels and we'll put this in here there we go and so we'll go grab another 10 levels because we're going to need it for the second one and I'm gonna to need to grab my potatoes too. 
And I think I have some in the furnace right here. So let's see. We can get this out of here and we can put the next one in. Tell it to use our XP. And yeah, I have some potatoes here. Good. So this should... Why is this not running? Why is it not running? Huh. Oh, did we run out of power? Is it not hooked up? I thought this thing was hooked up. Or did we run out of... Oh, we must have run out of flesh already. Okay, let's see. Let me grab some more of this. And we'll, we'll get some RF coming through. <laughs> and yeah, because the, the miner is just draining everything out of the system. So we have our ender resonators, which is good. And so all we need is one more of those crystals as soon as we can get some of this. So we'll see if we can get it to... There we go. If we can get it to go. Whoops. Get more of this. Keep this fed. Come on. And what's the other thing it takes? It takes food. So what was it I said? We have rotten flesh. We have potatoes. There we go. So we can feed it potatoes as well. The rotten flesh is actually goes really quickly. And the potatoes last quite a bit longer. I believe you get 4,000 RF out of these. And then you get like 18,000 RF out of those. So this should be done. Excellent. Okay, so let's go get this. Let's go get this made first. And let's get our dimensionals transceivers. And so we should be able to make two of these. And I need to grab the other octetic capacitor. Let me grab that. I'm going to steal that from here. <laughs> and so I have to craft some more because I'm running low on those parts again. So let's do this and we'll make our second transceiver. And there we go. So now we have two of these and this will allow the all of the stuff to come in. What we're going to do is we're going to put the farm. Let's see. I want to... Actually, we'll just do this. We'll go underneath here, and we'll put one of them right over here, like this. So we'll stick it up here. Yeah, there's a good spot for it. Okay, and so this is connected. It should be anyway. And so now when you hook this up on the other end, you'll be able to send and receive. You can receive items and you can filter items and you can create channels and send and receive fluids and energy and all that stuff. So I need to get the other one on the mob farm. And the other thing that we need to put is a vacuum chest. So let's get that vacuum chest. Let's get this thing pulsating crystal. And I believe that's this. Pulsating crystal, and yeah, so there we go. There is our vacuum chest. So we're going to replace the stuff in the mob farm outside. We're going to replace all of those hoppers with a vacuum chest and a dimensional transceiver. And so then everything that comes out of the mob farm is just going to go straight into our storage system. And then we'll be able to have another dimensional transceiver over here so that we can suck out all the zombie flesh and we can put the stuff coming up from upstairs into another one that comes down to here and we can feed the potatoes and all that stuff. So basically this will allow us to filter and send everything with, with through, the, through the air without pipes and everything. Let me put this back here too because that doesn't need to be there. And I need to grab some blocks so that we can <laughs> make sure we don't get smashed while we're opening up the farm because we need to open up the farm and let's put these here 
there we go so as you can see the potatoes are now working too and so this thing will put out 256 RF every tick which is lovely and so we will get our quickly grab our andesite and we should have everything we need to do this outside so let's go out here and we'll break into this let's see here we'll break into here and before the mobs start falling all over in our face hopefully and I still didn't grab enough of them <laughs> So let me grab some more, and I actually don't need to go all the way back. I don't need to go all the way back. It's still a bad habit to run back, run back to the <laughs> to the storage system. Okay, let's grab these, and I think we probably need even a few more. Whoops. Whoops, just so that we don't get mobs falling, raining on our head as we, <laughs> as we do this. And that, and that. I'm actually kind of surprised that nothing was falling that whole time. But anyway, let's get our hoppers. And oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to drop those hoppers all the way on the ground. That sucks. Okay, <laughs> that's not cool. I thought I had something underneath that. I guess I don't. Okay, so we'll grab these hoppers. Okay, let me go sleep very quickly. And yeah, because there's a creeper standing right there. Nice. That's nice. <laughs> But yeah, and I, ah, great. And I realized why that's, the stuff isn't raining out is because, go away, is because the, because <laughs> the RF is not being produced because we ran out of stuff. The mining thingy is sucking up all the RF, I assume. And, or maybe I took that, yeah, I think I took the power generation off the top of that. But anyway, so that's why that's doing that. And I need to grab actually just a bunch of that so that I can get, make an actual floor down here. <laughs> and now they're falling. Okay, let's break, let's see, we'll break this and see if I can get some of this andesite. There we go. And just because we'll get this cleaned up. Okay, so now we can put this floor down here. And we'll put our dimensional okay. transceiver here. And we'll put our vacuum chest there. Awesome. And so now when stuff falls in here, it's going to land in the vacuum chest. There we go. That shows our range. And so, yeah, it is all the way out there. So we can turn that back off. And now we can take out this chest as well. And so I need to get another piece of this glass, don't I? Let's see if we actually have any of that in the... Yes, we do. We have one. That's perfect. Okay. So we'll get, and good, there's the other hopper too. So we'll get this stuff, let's see. Hey, we got a piece of redstone too. And I don't think we need the arrows. I think we can live without the arrows. <laughs> so let's break this. At least this half of the chest and do that. And <laughs> it fell into there. Okay. And we'll come up to here and we can break these out now. So those should fall into the vacuum chest now. 
and we can break these to clean up and those will all end up in the vacuum chest as well and now we can get out of here before we get ambushed by falling mobs okay so that is the upgrade and now what we need to do is we need to make a channel on here on the dimensional receiver if I can get in there <laughs> But yeah, let me see. I'm still running out of bubbles as that goes. And configure, this is filter, yeah. <laughs> so let me go in this way and do this. Configure it this way instead. <laughs> we'll break this for the moment and we can not stand there. Let's stand here. And so now we have, this is, items here's items so we want to add a channel and we want to call it mob farm or yeah let's see we want to do items in so that's gonna be items that are coming into and we're gonna send on that channel those are gonna be items coming into the thing so we're gonna send items on that channel and we're not gonna receive anything and that should do it and so if we put configure IO and we go pull from this side and then we put this on here and so yeah that should be sending yes it did cool it just sent everything off to our system so let me and it just stole my glass for, <laughs> from underneath so let me grab my glass again and we'll fill that back in. Oh, it's in the, it's, it's not going into the, okay, okay. I know what's going on. It's not going into the actual storage system yet. We still need to make that happen. So if we go in here, now if we look at the, the transceiver, where did our stuff go? Did it go into the system? Let's see, glass. Yeah, I'm not sure where it went. So I'm going to have to figure that out. <laughs> and, oh, you know what? Let's see. Let's do this. And we'll do receive. There we go. And that should, let's see, always active. And, yeah, it should be receiving now. So we'll see if the glass came in nope all right I'm gonna have to figure out where that stuff went so I will be right back all right guys I think I've got it figured out here so this these actually need power upkeep in order to to work so this is this needs 10 RF per tick in order to work and it didn't have that and so what I need to do is I was in here and I so in this chest there was a ton of rotten flesh so I just grabbed a bunch of that and actually let me grab a little more and we can get rid of that and that and that and yeah we can get rid of that cool and spider eyes too and andesite so yeah we can get a whole ton of of flesh in there so this is the machine room over here so I just ran the pipe through the wall and so when that com comes in it should be connected to our system and it should go out into the pipes that way. So yeah, that's that's that right there. And so now when we have power, because this thing doesn't have any power, so there we go. We should be able to, it should work now. And that's, yeah, we have a whole chest full. <laughs> awesome. And I might have to go disconnect the miner or something too. Aha, you see that? It's got, yeah it's got power awesome and so let's see so I made a channel called power trickle and this is sending RF on the channel called power trickle we'll have to go outside and see if the other one is actually getting power from there and so let's go check real quickly and if not do I have a capacitor that I can quickly use to do that I can grab this capacitor here whoops 
Does this capacitor have any charge in it? Let's see. Nope, it doesn't have any in it. So let's do this real quickly, if we can. We'll get this to pull some charge. Can it? Come on. <laughs> Configure I.O. Input. Oh, come on. A little bit? Just a little bit? No? Okay. I need to, I need to get something that has power in order to do this. Aha! This is a generator. So let's... Whoops. <laughs> let's put this here and put some coal in there. I think I have some coal here. Do I have red coal? There we go. Okay. So we'll put a piece of red coal in here in the furnace or in the generator to generate some power. There we go. Now we have some RF. Okay, good. That's all I wanted. I just wanted some RF. <laughs> It's not too much to ask. And come on, let's fill this thing up a little bit. And so yeah, now we've got 6,400. That should be enough to get this thing going. And we'll see if we can get items transferring to and from. So we'll go underneath here. And ooh, it looks like it's already working. It is sending. Awesome. Okay, good. So it doesn't need the capacitor. It just goes through. So all that was a waste of time. <laughs> That's great. So good. That means our mob farm should be working now. And it should be just sending stuff. And I can take that chest off of there too, which I can clean up later. But awesome. And so everything should be coming into the storage system now. We'll check this real quick. And yeah, it's receiving stuff, and I'll have to see if I'll probably have to put a one of those thingies on there that this this thing, what's it called? What's it called? Transfer node. So let's see if we have one of those. Transfer node. Yep, I knew we had one. Okay, so we should be able to put this on the transceiver. There we go. And now we'll see if it's pulling stuff out. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'll have to double check and see if it's if it's working. Yep, it is. Awesome. Awesome. It is pulling stuff out of there. Cool. So, yeah, we got it working. That's awesome. And I get, I've got some cleanup to do over here. But that's going to be everything. That's going to be it for episode 30. And join me in episode 31. And we will see... Let's see. Let's check our let's check our mine real quick, too. Let's see if that's actually been running off of the RF and stealing all the RF and stealing. Yeah, we've got more. We've got even more stuff. Excellent. So, yeah, I will see you guys in episode 31. Later.